I said to myself, one day I'll get to that. It was excuses and a lack of discipline. If I'm just going to call it for what it is, right? And so the whole concept was the voices you trust determine the direction of your life. Hey, podcast family. Welcome to Strategy Rewind. I'm your host, Miguel LeBron. The biggest question we have to answer is how do goal-oriented people accomplish their breakthrough moment? And that is exactly what Strategy Rewind focuses on. Stick around as we jump into tactics and strategy to help you have a breakthrough moment. Let me talk to you about our show sponsors, United Marriage Encounter. United Marriage Encounter is a worldwide nonprofit organization dedicated to improving marriages by introducing powerful, practical, ongoing communication strategies. It's such a powerful experience, the weekends that they host for marriages. Early in our marriage, my wife and I went to a weekend, but the strategies that we received were so powerful, we decided to go again because the truth is that we can always keep growing and learning on how to better communicate. The weekends that they host are presented in a conference-type setting, but after that initial meet and greet, no other group sharing is required. Each couple is given enough time to talk privately, freely, and be able to dedicate their entire time to their significant other. Head over to unitedmarriage.com. That's unitedmarriage.com, where there you'll find more details on events that are coming up and may be happening in your neck of the woods. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the program. I'm sitting here today with Mr. Jared Miller. Jared, thank you for being part of the program. Absolutely. My honor. Yes, sir. For those who are not familiar with the amazing work you're doing, let them know about yourself. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. So my name is Jared Miller. I'm based out of Houston, Texas. So I am a worship pastor. I'm an author, speaker, and coach, and uh, I love nothing more than to help Many people get to the next level of their life, both spiritually and professionally. And uh, I love blessing other people. I love pouring into their lives and seeing transformation. It's a passion of mine. You know, I follow a lot of your content on social media, and you're you're the type of guy that you wear your faith on your sleeve. I mean, you put it at the forefront. It is obviously the anchor of everything that you do. Oftentimes, people feel as though they have to almost hide their faith to find success, how do we balance having success and still having our faith be our anchor? What a great question. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it to you this way. I believe people are not looking for a perfect leader. They're looking for an authentic leader. Mm. Uh, I remember a story uh, that uh, I heard about Benjamin Franklin and a close friend of his. They were going to hear an evangelist preach, and Benjamin Franklin's friend said, I didn't think that you believe what he's saying is true. And Benjamin Franklin said, I don't, but he does. And it's just amazing how as a person of faith and balancing that with success, how that even if people don't agree and see eye to eye with you, people can recognize authenticity. People can recognize passion. People can recognize the real deal. Hmm. People can, people can recognize if you're skillful and if you're competent at what you do. Right now, you are getting ready to release your book. Together with that book, you've released a soundtrack, which is titled Truth. Talk a bit about the journey to making the soundtrack. Let's start there. Uh, Making that soundtrack a reality, which I've heard. And it's just a powerful song. I actually shared it with my with my wife and and while she would when we I was playing it, she was listening to it. Our two year old daughter was in the background just dancing. So it was uh, quite a moment. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I appreciate that question. So if, if you'll give me just a just a, a couple of minutes just to kind of give you the backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, as a person of faith, I believe that we have to be transparent and vulnerable with our listeners. And so the last two years, not even mention, mentioning COVID. But through all of that, I went through a divorce. And as a creative, as a songwriter, I've, I've been singing, you know, most of my life. I've been in church most of my life. I love that so much. Uh, I had not written or created an original song in three years. Going through some hard times, everyone kind of goes through their own storms and seasons of life. But 
my creative juices, quote unquote, uh, felt sucked dry. And so all that to say, I had a pastor friend of mine uh, in South Houston who I've known for probably 13 years. He said, Jared, it's time that we did a collaboration together. His name is Vaughn Juan, and he pastors Space City Church in Houston. And I said, I said, I want to do it. And you know how whenever you're, you're wanting to collaborate with someone and they're just not latching on, you're wondering, does this guy really want to do this? <laughs> does, does he really want to do yeah, it? Or, 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 or is he? Is he talk. Just, right, right. And so it's like, Vaughn, it's not that. It's just, I got nothing. And, and even as real as I'm sitting before you today, on my couch over to my right, it was 1030 on a Wednesday night back in February of this year. And I remember saying, Lord, I want to do this, but I've got nothing. Can you help me? And, and sir, when I tell you as truthful as I can be, it was like a download from heaven happened. It was the coolest, craziest thing. Within 10 minutes, I had the lyrics, the melody line, the chord structure, the whole thing. And so where Vaughn kicks in, it Vaughn actually raps on the verses, as you heard. Mm -hmm, yeah. But as far as like the chord structure, the melody line, and, and the bridge and the chorus, that all came to me, I believe, from the Lord within 10 minutes. Here's what's so cool, and, and I don't mean the name drop, but man, like our producer, I got connected to him through Vaughn. He's worked, he's a Christian also. He's worked with Frankie J. He's worked with Little Wayne. He's worked with Maroon 5, mm -hmm. uh, it was, and, and I had no idea who he was. <laughs> and so he, he took the song and brought it to life. All that to say, the song is called Truth, and it's in direct collaboration with my upcoming book. It's interesting because my publisher, <laughs> we were talking just a few months ago, and he said, Jared, you're a songwriter. Why don't you write a song called Truth? The thing about it is I told you that Bond, my pastor friend, had been on, had been on me right. about a collaboration, but I... I thought it was going to take a different direction. I never thought that we would collaborate on this song, Truth. So God has a way of just bringing it all together for his glory, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing because, and I don't want to pass this moment where, you know, you're going through that specific difficult life altering event and you're feeling, as you mentioned, you're feeling like your creative juices are sucked dry and yet there's still that push of, no, you still have to create, you still have to do, you still have to move. For that person that's listening right now and is feeling stuck or maybe going through that life-altering event, but is still hearing the call of produce, create, expand, what word of encouragement can we provide them? What strategy can you provide them at this moment? Absolutely. It's a fantastic question. You have to surround yourself with people who will inspire you and will, will bridge the gap. I remember this, there's a story in the, in the book of Exodus where Moses got tired and the people around him had to lift his hands up. Mm -hmm. And as long as they, he couldn't hold his hands up by himself, right? They had to hold his hands up for him. And we need people on the right and the left who will hold our hands up for us. And as long as he did, the Israelites won the victory. Mm -hmm. But when, when he didn't, they didn't. And so we have to have number one, people around us who we trust, who have our best interests in mind, who see the call of God on our life, who see our passion and our, our focus, and will lift our hands up when we feel like we can't lift up our own hands. Uh, number two, I believe that you have to keep the, the original vision that God gave you in front of you, because there's a lot of, a lot of things that are throwing in your peripherals and in, in, your, in front of your eyes, and you got to say, no, I'm going to take all the haze and, and fog away, and I got to have a clear picture of in front of me of what God originally called me to do. Now, in order to see things right, you got to set things right. Mm. Mm. The scripture in Hebrews 12 says, for the joy that was set before him enabled him to endure the cross. So Miguel, here, here's the cool thing, right? Can, can we ever, we, we hear the stories in the Bible of Jesus being beat, and the crown of thorns and, and the scourging, and we hear about it. But could you imagine actually being there? Could you imagine actually experiencing like your closest loved one going through 39 stripes on their back with the cat of nine tails and just how horrific and traumatic and, and just humiliating that must have been. The only thing that allowed Jesus to get through those moments was seeing you and I 2000 plus years in the future, knowing what I'm going through now is going to make a difference in eternity. Oftentimes I've said we need to surround ourselves with people that will nourish 
our vision. And, and of course, as you mentioned, the only way to strive towards a vision is to keep that vision in the forefront. And we talk about the journey to making the song, which again, it's such a powerful song, but you also have a couple of this with a book. Talk a bit about the book and that journey. Yeah, I really thought this is, that this is going to encourage someone today. When I tell you, you can have good ideas and then you can have God ideas. There was a God idea that dropped inside of me, I would say, between three and a half and four years ago. Miguel, I didn't even act on it until October of last year. Hmm. I said to myself, one day I'll get to that. It was excuses and a lack of discipline. If I'm just going to call it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. And so the whole concept was the voices you trust determine the direction of your life. What do I mean by that? We have influential voices all around us. Something super practical. If I need to take my car to the shop to get fixed and I have three people that I know and say, hey, who should I take my car to? Who have you taken your car to? The person that I trust the most is probably the one that I'm going to go with. Mm -hmm. Real practical example. Apply that to every area of life. We have relational influ influences all around us at all times that we trust, right? And the influence that we trust ultimately shapes our perception of truth. And so that was the whole concept of social media, the media, fake news, legitimate news. Who do we trust? Who do we listen to? How do we know who to listen to? It was such a hot topic. And as we're doing the book, as we're writing the book, as we're developing and editing the book, my publisher says, Jared, the spirit and concept that you originally came up with is in the book, but this is really turning out to be about truth. Mm -hmm. What is truth? And so my premise was, that is the greatest question one will ever ask, because everything else in your life is contingent upon that answer. Now, you mentioned that this idea comes to you, but yet you delay in moving forward. But you were very frank in saying, okay, there's a lack of discipline. There's a lack of movement. There's a lack of taking on the task and moving that forward. So that individual that right now is like, man, I've got a multi-million dollar idea in me. I've got this God idea in me. I've got this book in me. How do they get over the hump? What strategy could we provide for them to get over the hump and actually put it in execution? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so let me, let me say this. The hardest step is the first step. Mm -hmm. We got to get out of our head. We got to stop overthinking. It's like a Ernest Hemingway. Your first page is going to stink. <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he didn't use those words, but you know what I mean? So, so for me, it was just like, it was a combination of, of fear. It was a combination of, of, you know, it's just, it was, I was making it all about me versus making about others. Mm. When I got off my own agenda and got over myself, which is a transparent thing to say, but I think we all struggle with certain levels of ego and certain levels of image and, and wanting things to come across a certain way. And my publisher and I were talking and just having some really candid moments. It's, it's like, if the Lord really gave you this idea, and you're just the conduit, you're just the messenger of what the Lord's wanting you to say. It's never been about Jared to begin with. It's about the people who God is going to use the book to speak to and help transform their lives because it's the Lord who ultimately transforms. It's not us. So let me say this. I have to interject this. This is so, so good that I, I didn't forget to tell you this. When I first started, I had a friend who we were just acquaintances on Facebook, and he mentioned that part of his business was ghostwriting. Mm. So I'm thinking, man, this is a three and a half, four year idea. It's time to get moving. I asked him to help me ghostwrite to basically finish the manuscript. Well, he says, Jared, this is so good. I don't really need to, to ghostwrite it. I just need to edit it. Mm. I said, okay. So he edited it. I think, man, this is amazing. We're in rock and roll. Then I find someone and I pay someone else to design the book cover. I pay for the book cover. I pay for the manuscript. I'm thinking we're done. Then my life coach introduced me to another publisher who gets a hold of the book and he goes to town, Miguel, and does surgery on that joker. <laughs> now I'm paying so much more money for this publisher to guide me and really 
take this manuscript apart. What's my point? Is I could have got frustrated. I could have said, I'm wasting my money. I'm wasting my time. No, but so much is about perspective. I paid money for the first edit. I paid money for the book cover design. I didn't even use any of that. Wow. So I could have said, well, what am I doing? No, 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 no. You're, you're asking me the question, what do I say to the person who's stuck? Every step leads to the next. Every door leads to the next door, to the next door. Every relationship leads to the next relationship, to the next relationship. God takes us from glory to glory, strength to strength, right? So, so don't get destination disease. <laughs> Direct, direction is more important than destination. And progress is more important than perfection. And so as simple and as, well, I already knew that. As simple as it sounds, start, start. If you, if you need a friend to get some jumper cables and jumpstart your vision, <laughs> do it. But just start. And then the key is consistency. Mm -hmm. have, have such a compelling vision. The concept has to, has to really burn within you. This is not a good idea, but it's a God idea and it's bigger than me and I have to give birth to it. And as long as, like we talked about at the very beginning, keeping the vision in the forefront of your mind and then surrounding yourself with people who can help you. And, and if, if your goal is to make this as good as it can be, don't be flustered by the bump in the road. Don't be discouraged or downtrodden by thinking, oh, well, I paid this money for this edit. I'm not even going to use it. No, 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 no. That led me to where I am right now. You know, it's so true. Oftentimes we want, we want it so much that we almost get in our own way of making it a reality. For those who are listening and want to get their hands on your upcoming book, want to listen to the music or just connect with you, how could they do so? Yeah, absolutely. So here's what's so cool, Miguel. When you, when you pre-order my book, you're going to get my brand new song, Truth, automatically free it's going to be emailed to you you're going to get it today then when you pre-order you're also going to get the acoustic version of the same song truth and here here's the link truth dot jared miller official.com truth dot jared miller official.com miguel this concept is so much bigger than me the concept of truth people are on information overload but they're starving for truth mm. and so the whole idea of the book is a completely different approach to how to identify and understand truth. It's not me saying, this is the truth and shoving it down your throat. It's a guidebook to help the reader find truth for themselves. I, I lead them to where I want them to be and where I believe that they should be, but it's not me, again, it's not me telling them, it's me showing them. And so I encourage every listener, help, help us spread this message. Go and get the book today. You're gonna get the music automatically free immediately truth.jaredmillerofficial.com. And of course, I'm on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook at Jared Miller Official. Jared, thank you so much for being part of the program and uh, inspiring and motivating words. Thank you so much. Miguel, it's my honor, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. What an amazing conversation. Thank you so much for being part of the program. And thank you so much to today's guest. Be sure to head over to the show notes because there you'll find more details on how to connect with them and all the amazing things they're doing. Of course, the question now is what's next? Where do you go to next from this conversation? You've got the information, but where do we go to next? The next step is for you to set up a free 30-minute strategy session by simply clicking in the link in our show notes or heading over to MiguelLeBron.com. That's MiguelLeBron.com. There, you can set up a free 30-minute strategy session and take all of the strategies that you've learned today and apply it so that you can have your breakthrough moment. From the first
to the last days of survival. I was that slave to my idols and attached rage to my rivals. Suicidal diagnosis of too many people I knew. The ruckus within my circumference, a seed that was planted and grew to the evil I do. Pills in my system came out of a bottle prescribed to a name that was not mine. Anxiety keeps me off planes. I drastic the state filled with shame. I am not fine. At times when alone, I can't stop crying. I push I read, I need Vicine. The son and the daughter of two of my friends lost their lives in the car accident. Both of them were just 19. So why dream when these nightmares keep us up late? Plus pipe dreams just frustrate. Work nights free, no lunch breaks. Said I never feel I have enough faith to be great. In my own strength, no mouth move. But I found a love that made my house improve. Christ is the way, life, and the truth. Your love led me to you. Yeah, money, family, need ain't cap fair Cause we keep bills like lamb bill Bad boy business, surrender the price Now you seeing how that boy glisten God got me shining, my life is on mission I used to make smoking tradition Mad blunts, I was twisted Love overcame my addiction Yeah, love brought a life of submission Yeah, love brought a wife and some kids That I'm willing to give for I'd lay my life down in a minute It was love that turned me to a preacher Hand to the plow, looking back in an option It was love that they hung on the cross Cast lots for his clothes, highest bid in no auction It was love with a crown and the thorns It was love crucified by two thieves It was love with two fish and five loaves It was love healed the cripple and caused mine to see It was love to redeem you and me Overcame death, paid our debt Found freedom when his arms were stretched Took three nails to bless all our mess Yes Take a step and you draw near 